This video is a part of a three part series on the power of PowerShell scripting. In the first part, we'll look how we can convert PowerPoint files into PDF with a single click. These PowerPoint files does not need to be in a single folder. It can also be in subfolders and this script can convert them into PDF with a single click. In the second part of this series, we'll see how we can convert Word documents into PDF. Again, these files can be in recursive folders and it will still work. And finally, in the third part of this video series, we'll see how we can organize literally thousands of photos or files into neatly structured year and month folder format. Uh, again, we'll be using PowerShell for this. So if you are looking at one of the videos and if, if you would like to look at the other, please check out on the playlist. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. All right, let's get started. Hello everyone. In this video, we'll learn how we can convert multiple PowerPoint files into PDF with a single click. These PowerPoint presentation files does not have to be in a single folder. This script will also work for recursive folders, means there's a main folder and there are subfolders, and if you have PowerPoint files in them, it should also uh, convert them into PDF. So here is a quick example. Let's say you have a, a folder uh, and then inside that, there are multiple folders. Uh, for me, I have a, a class folder, a design folder, a YouTube folder, and then there's even a subfolder. And each one has one or two PowerPoint files. Now, some of them are with PPTX for, uh, extension, and some are older PPT format. And so this script should be able to convert all of that into PDF simultaneously. And so let me just quickly share uh, the folder. So here is that folder structure that I just showed. And then inside that, I have all these PowerPoint files. Okay. So we are going to convert them into PDF. And we don't need a specific uh, an additional software to download. All we are going to use is uh, use PowerShell script. Now, if you have never used PowerShell before uh, on your computer, uh, if you try to run a PowerShell script, it may give you a, a, a error message, something like this. Uh, basically, it will say that you won't be able to run a, a script because it's disabled on the, on your system. And so if you do see this error, you need to make sure that you set the execution policy to remote sign. And the way in which you do is, is simply go to open PowerShell. So go to start menu and then just type PowerShell. And then make sure that you run it as an administrator it should give you an option on the right hand side and so you do need admin rights to enable this policy you don't need admin rights to run the script it's just to enable that and so i already have set this enable but if you haven't you just basically type set execution and it's auto complete completed using tab and so you can see and then i said remote signed and it, it's asking me whether I want to change it or not. I'll just say yes, even though I have already done that. All right. So now I have enabled PowerShell script execution on my computer. All right. So once you do that, then all you have to do is just the download PowerShell script from my GitHub page. So I'm going to paste uh, the link uh, in my description of this video and also on the screen. And so you can simply just copy uh, this PowerShell script from my GitHub page. And so once you download that, it will look something like this. And so here is my PowerShell script. It is with PS1 extension. So let me open that uh, in just a notepad, right? And so here is uh, the script. It is fairly simple and straightforward. Uh, and basically it's going to just need one thing and that is the main folder. So right here is an example of how to run this. And so we are going to run this uh, script and see how it works, all right? Now here, line number about right in the middle, I am I'm setting it to find both .ppt and .pptx files. And so you should be able to get both of them in your uh, from your folder, right? So this is the script that we are going to run. And we, the way in which you run it is you just type this and then you pass, uh, a path to it uh, with this flag path to ppt files okay so it's pretty simple we will just uh, see how we can do that so 
Uh, now I, I'll open my PowerShell again. So just uh, go to start menu and type PowerShell. You don't need to run it as administrator. Uh, and so I'm going to, oops, uh, go to this folder, right? And then just, you can see uh, this entire uh, structure and then here is my PowerPoint PowerShell script. In fact, by the way, this is a pretty cool trick. You can type tree hyphen F and if you press enter, then it shows you nice tree view. And so you can see all the power, 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 PowerPoint files and so on, right? So let me clear this and I'm going to run a script. And so in order to run a power, PowerShell script, you need to just type dot and slash and the name of the script. Now you don't need to write the entire name. You can just start with it and press tab and it should be able to auto complete it for you. All right, so this is the script we are going to run. We also would like to pass a path. And so hyphen PPT, uh, it was path actually. And again, if you press tab key, uh, all you have to do is just type a part of the flag so all I did is just hyphen path and then press tab. And it is smart enough to know that this is the, this is what you want to, or this is the flag that you want to pass. And so it will auto complete it for you. And then you just have to specify the full path of your folder. Okay, so, so I'm going to type, you can simply copy and paste also. Uh, the reason why I'm putting it into parentheses is because there is a space. If there is no space, you don't need to specify this into, uh, not parentheses, sorry, double quote, right? And so here is the full path. And so now I'm going to open one of the folders so that we can see while it is running. So once I press enter here, it will actually go through the script. It'll find all the PowerPoint files and then it will actually export or convert that into PDF. Now you do need a PowerPoint uh, install on your computer. And it will also open uh, the PowerPoint files uh, and it'll close automatically. So it'll open and close and you will see it's a little bit of flash right in front of you. You will see that as we run this. But again, you don't need to do anything. It'll just convert all your PowerPoint files into PDF. So let's see if it works. So I'm going to press enter. And so you can see that it starts to open these files and then it'll convert them into PDF. Now I have a pretty big, if I have a bigger bigger file, it may take a, just a fraction of a second, but it's better than just doing everything manually in once, uh, you know, one by one. And so as you can see, it's opening and closing these files, and then it is also converting. And now it is done. And so I'm going to use that tree command again, just to see whether it is able to convert all of those. So tree slash F. And so you can see right here, that we had a PowerPoint files and now we have PDFs. So it, it maintained the file name and then added .pdf extension. Uh, but you can see that there is a corresponding PDF file for each of these. And so let's go ahead and open one of these. So here is a PowerPoint, uh, sorry, PDF converted files. And if I open that, you can see that it has the entire PDF uh, in this, uh, converted, right? Uh, let's look at another one. Maybe we'll go to YouTube. There was one file here, so I'm going to open this. And it should have the PowerPoint, right? So uh, this is another video. So I just, uh, I, it's in my channel. So so with, Power, with this PowerShell script, you can convert all your PowerPoint files into PDF, into multiple folders. Uh, and it's pretty easy and simple to use. And so I hope you liked this video. If you did, uh, please click on the like button. And as I said, this is a part of uh, four or five videos uh, on PowerShell. So make sure that you check out the playlist and watch other videos as well. And if you like the content of this channel, please consider subscribing, subscribing to my channel. All right. Thank you very much. Bye.